In this video, we are going to give you a very quick overview of how you can create a chatbot using ClickChat. There are three steps. Number one, design your chatbot. Number two, script your conversation. Number three, share your chatbot. The first step is design. Here, you can choose on which position your chatbot widget should appear. You can choose the right position or the middle position or you can choose the left position. You can choose any avatar that you see fit. You can upload your own custom avatar. I'm going to select the default option here. Choose a color scheme that matches your website. You can even provide a custom hex color using this option. Turning off the welcome message will only show the avatar. We recommend that you turn it on so that the chatbot is more interactive and engaging. The second step is script. This is where you create the conversation of your chatbot. You can use different script types to create the conversation. Each script type is designed to collect a particular piece of data. For example, to ask for an email, you'll be using the email script type. If you want to book an appointment, you'll be using the appointment script type. I'm going to edit the first question here, which is of multi-choice type and set it as want to create a chatbot. Set the options as yes or no. Once I'm done making the changes, I'll click on done. To ask the name of the customer, I will use the text question and change this to what's your first name. I click on done. Next, I want to ask the email of the customer. Collect chat gives you the option to personalize your questions using variables. To do this, you'll use the at the rate variable and here you can point this to the second question. This becomes a variable and it will point to the answer of the second question. We will see this in action. Let's click on done for now. To end the conversation, I'm going to use the thank you type, which will show a neat little GIF and you can edit this message. It also shows a call to action button. Let's keep it open. Click on done. Another important feature of the chatbot is called logical jump. This feature helps you to change the flow of the conversation depending on how the user interacts. Let's click on the preview icon to see the chatbot that we have created. I'll interact with the chatbot. I'll give it a name. The third question becomes, what is your email address, Sam? The Sam is actually the answer to my second question which is what is your first name. That's how you personalize your chatbots. Once I give my email ID, the conversation will end. I can see a GIF, I can see the last message and also a call to action button. If everything looks good, I'll publish my chatbot. Now the last step is share the chatbot. All you need to do is copy this code snippet and add it to your HTML website. If your site runs on WordPress, we have a dedicated WordPress plugin. We have documented all the steps right here. If your site is powered by Cloudflare, we have a Cloudflare app. If your website is running on Squarespace, Shopify, we have the steps for that too. And if your website is run by a third party team, you can just email them all the instructions using this option. If you're facing any issues, please reach out to us using the help option inside the dashboard. Thank you.